Well, hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're watching us from, a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, how are you? Thanks for joining us on this gorgeous sunny day here in the northeast of England. We finally got the sunshine and uh, we're very happy because we are celebrating Colour Me Happy. It's turn four, yay! All four. I remember Colour Me Happy when it was knee eye to a grasshopper and look at it now. Um, no, we're, we're really excited uh, because we've got, this is the third actually of our five Colour Me Happy shows that we've got coming up this week. We've got lots of launches coming up through the week for you as well. Uh, but we are all about the celebration of all things Colour Me Happy. To that end, don't forget there's loads over on the website. Before we get started, must tell you about three for two deals on our Spectrum Noir range. So do check that out. There's some absolute corkers there as well as we were talking about yesterday. So do have a good delve and a peruse and a look around to pick out all of those deals. And whilst you're there, don't forget, we've also got a stamp sale for you too, up to 70% off selected stamps. So it's absolutely worthwhile uh, shopping the shows and also checking the web for you too. The other thing to mention, of course, that if you are shopping across the next four days, so well, three now, up until the end of play on Thursday, you will get a free gift with uh, each purchase over 10. That free gift is, go on Vern, show them. <laughs> Yep, thank you, Vernon. Beautifully, beautifully displayed there uh, by our uh, Vernon vacuum. He's back in stock, by the way, if you want to grab him. Um, not, I mean, not in that exact one, but the desk vacuums are back in stock. There'll only be one Vernon. Uh, but you can decorate them however you please, and that is the uh, caveat. If you are buying one, you do need to decorate it with googly eyes. Uh, but that's all of the business taken care of, I think. Really looking forward to this show. It's going to be different to yesterday's Colour Me Happy shows. We've got different deals on it. It's all mixed media. Uh, and what we want from you again is your questions, is your comments. If there's anything that you want to see, if there's anything that you want to know, ask away, please. That's what we're up for over the course of this one hour show. And I'm delighted to say I am not on my own. I've got me bestie here. Yeah. I've got a bestie over there. She's back. Yay! I'm happy, you're happy. It's the one and only McGiggles herself, Debbie Fisher. <laughs> How are you in your pity over there? It's really well. It's always good to be back. You're right. It's really sunny outside. I've just gone to the car and it was yeah. like blinded by the lights. I was. I'm sure there's a song in that. Um, but yes, it's going to be a really great day because I've got my pinny. I've done my pinny yeah. because it's all mixed media. Don't go. I know you want to run away from that word oh, mixed media. Uh, don't do that. Stay with us for the next hour because honestly, it really is just about putting different mediums together and that can be whatever you want, whatever cardstock you want. But we're going to get a little bit messy. We're going to be having a play with those uh, glitter paste and spritzer sprays um, so yeah stay with us it's going to be a good next hour Ben I think more than anything if you are one of those people who was just about to go ah <laughs> then you definitely need to stay because we try and dispel this myth all the time, Debbie, don't we? That mixed media is not scary. Yeah, it's not scary, honestly. And uh, anybody that knows me knows that I am a clean, tidy crafter. So mixed media used to scare me. So I'm speaking from experience. I used to think, no, in fact, I'm going to be honest, and I think I've said it before, I used to put rubber gloves on to do mixed media in. Oh, I think I remember you saying yeah, that. Yeah, I used to get the little gloves and put them on because I didn't like getting my hands all inky and dirty. And now I embrace it and uh, I laugh in the face of messy crafting. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it, darling. She loves it. Um, so, yeah, stay with us. If you are the mixed media scaredy cat, it's up to you to ask those questions. Let's make mixed media artists out of all of you. And look, we've got glitter paste coming up. We've got sprays coming up. We've got ink pads. We've got gilding wax. We've got, you name it, we've got it, right? If you see something on the website and you're not sure how to use it, but you want to use it, ask those questions and we'll do as best as we can. We've got lovely Jan on the socials and already in is Sarah Brown saying hello, my dear, dear crafty family. Special hugs to my sweet friend, Debbie, and my other sweet friend, Ben. Ah, oh, good afternoon, you flaming galah. <laughs> uh, a huge hug to you all from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, uh, Polly Co joins us from Blountstown in Florida. Hello, Teresa Campbell Hello. and Mary Scary Harris. Uh, it says, good morning from a glorious sunny day in the Pennines. Um, Alistair, Al Vile. Ah, uh, Al's in. It says, good day, um, crafting world from the lovely land of the Pink Panther. Oh. Durham. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's what my dad always used to call. Durham. Oh, okay. The Pink Panther Land. Yeah, I didn't even get that. <laughs> uh, Mary Beth Dawes says good morning from a rainy, windy Minnesota, and Chantelle Jones says good day from Tudia, Western Australia. I think I said that wrong, but anyway, good day. Tudia. 
I, I'm sure Chantal's messaged before and I said it wrong last time. T O O D Y A Y, 2 D A. 2 D A. Oh, actually, she's put it in brackets. 2 D A. 2 J. 2 D A. Do J. 2 J. 2 J. Jeffrey Langley says, Happy Tuesday, Ben and Debbie. Hi, Christine Mahoney. And hi, Robin Prunty. He says, Good morning, everyone. Nice and sunny here in Soup Tea. Hope everyone is doing well. We are. Keep the questions coming in, please. I say keep the questions. Get the questions in. Keep the comments coming. Um, and let's get started because we're going to have a look at some of our mesmerizing glitter paste for you. This has proved so popular. And you know what? I think a lot of people who perhaps were turned off by glitter paste previously because, you know, perhaps. It wasn't kind of taking as well as you hoped it would be. Perhaps it was flaking off your projects after you put it down. Um, you came to us, we launched our mesmerizing glitter paste and you were like, hang on a minute, this is next level stuff. And what you'll see about our glitter paste, which I'll show you on boards in just a second, is that you have got um, really big uh, chunky bits of glitter, loads of different colors as well, not just within the seven sets that you're gonna be getting, but that kind of uh, fleck of color. Whenever you're kind of moving your project around, you'll see all of the different colors that you're gonna be able to achieve from this set. Now, within your collection here, you are going to be getting the seven that you can see on screen and hopefully you will, uh, you will see from the board just here the kind of effect that you can create. Um, I will say this, and I always say this, and I mean this, and you guys echo this sentiment. If you love the look of this right now on the boards, amplify that by about 50 by the time you get it home, because it looks great on screens. It looks even better in real life. You're gonna get your wood nymph, you're gonna get your peacock and your beautiful enchanted lake. Look at the mermaid's tail again here. And you're sort of seeing, like, if I tilt that forward, like there, for example, you're sort of seeing like maybe like lighter blues, turquoises there. I'm seeing like dark purples. And that's the thing, like the way that the light captures it, the way it sort of um, you know, interacts with the light, you're gonna see all of these different colors and different sparkles. You've got Mystical Ocean in here, beautiful rose garden, I beg your pardon, and also the uh, moon <laughs> bloom as well. Uh, you're saving almost 10 pounds, almost $12 on this. That's even before your discount. If you're platinum, 42 pounds 40 or $52, that is over a 50, what? Over a 15% saving thank you producer nicola now how do we use it uh, what is it going to take to those are my first two questions can we use it on everything and is it easy to use debbie absolutely on both yes, yes. Um, yeah they are amazing and uh, just beautiful to use and what's great about having them in now and getting that extra 15 percent saving is i know lots of you are probably getting to the ends of your pot so you're going to want to stock up on them so a great way to stock up today and get that extra saving if we look at some of the samples that our design team have done you'll Ooh. see they are truly mesmerizing such a beautiful card there uh, putting with some of our red centura pearl i love that I would never think to put red with those colours, no. but doesn't it work? It does. Looks absolutely incredible. Um, I haven't got my glass on, so I can't really read who that Debbie. is. Leslie Pyle, I think that says. Um, yes, so that is. Uh, they believe someone on their design team. Well, I hope she's on their design team, otherwise we've got some randoms card in the studio. <laughs> uh, I love this Ooh, one. So uh, a little bit different, but uh, using those uh, mesmerising glitters with the ink pads and then just on the, around the edges looks amazing. What about a full-on sparkle like this one? Ooh, yes. uh, and Ooh. you can see all those beautiful sort of purples and pinks going on there. Looks incredible. I love when you use stencils because you can use stencils to do your background so that's just a slight inky technique and then putting that full-on sparkle in the middle there looks incredible love this one look that how beautiful brilliant. that is um, I mean they, these are the sorts of cards that people will wonder how you've made them because yeah. that actually looks like full-on glitter cardstock that someone's cut into strips and laid that in there um, for that to be created through a template is amazing uh, another one here so it's really striking onto black cardstock so you don't just have to use it on white this one's done on craft card which you wouldn't really uh, sort of think to use but look no. how amazing that looks in the background i absolutely love that one another one from leslie uh, we've got one here from carol lotterman lorriman um not lotterman lorriman um and then we've got um it on the uh, just inside here which looks incredible 
Just go a few more here. Love this one. This one's nice. Look at the green in here. Like if Beautiful, I move it, yeah. all those different colours shining through. They really are just absolutely incredible. So uh, we've done those all with the uh, stencils. You will find the stencils on the show. I'm sure we're going to run will. through those in a little while. But great to have um, be able to just have a play with them. So let's actually take one of those stencils. So here we are. I've got them here. Uh, we've got, oh, let's use that laurel leaves because oh, I know yes. that's in them uh, I love this one it's absolutely beautiful now what I love about this one is you've actually got three different stencils in here three different sizes this is huge a is. really big stencil eight by so, eight isn't it you what sorry is it eight, by eight, eight, eight by eight it certainly is with ben, a little yes. uh, margin oh we've not we've got an unopened oh. one here in oh. fact oh <laughs> let me just take the top off rather than um, I love an unopened one because it's going to be nice and clean until I get my grubby little paws on it <laughs> <laughs> it won't be clean for much longer <laughs> but I do have my little uh, stencil bath beside me so it will be clean I'll make sure I clean so yes you can see it's a nice big 12 uh, sorry 8 by 8 stencil that is the stencil itself and then you've got this outer edge as well which is fabulous so it means that you can put that straight onto your uh, design or onto your whatever you're putting it onto now Ben I'm just using some watercolor cardstock yeah but actually you could use anything you want and I really do mean anything it's a great one to go on to acetate it can go on to vellums it can go on to black cardstock your craft cardstock it can go on mirror card wow. it can go on it can even if you wanted to if you've got a nice piece of glitter cardstock you could put extra onto your glitter cardstock more stock. glitter on glitter yes more glitter on glitter you can even put it on to candles to um, coasters glass. to cork to glass yeah and absolutely anything shoes. so it's a must shoes yes you can put it onto shoes so if you're putting them onto shoes that's yeah. a really good point you can buy a um, weatherproof protector that goes over the top so you can seal that in as well so you could decorate like plant pots with it as well you could de decorate plant pots yes varnish over the top that's a brilliant idea we've not said that before love that one yeah really really good idea <laughs> he's a shimmering today, <laughs> aren't he? Doing his little shimmy. That's because he's like, got all full of these bright ideas yeah. today, which I love. So not only do you get your big eight by eight, you also get your stencil here and you get your embellishment as well. Okay. That's just one of the stencils in the collection that we'll show you in a little while. So once you've got your stencil, I've just made a little hinge here to go on the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put another piece underneath onto my card. That way, if I want to lift it at any point, I can see where it's been and then I can go straight back over the top if need be. Now, we do, have we got any tools on the show? We do have we tools on the show. On the uh, amazing. So Ben, I'll show you all the ones that you're using. You have Two of them I love to use, which is this one and the flat one. So you've got two here. You've got another third one as well. These are brilliant for applying. So I'm going to be using this one here and let's take one of those amazing ones. So actually, my favourite is this one because oh, I think you so? get a bigger lay down um, on this one. Mm. Um, but I like to use both, so we we'll sort of go. We could go between the two. Then we're going to use the Mystical Ocean. I love this one. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's got that um, sort of iridescent pinks yeah, and purples and blues. I mean, you can see it straight away. Look at the shimmer in there. It is absolutely incredible. Now you're going to take the back end of your tool and and pick that up there and literally just pop that straight down onto your design now all you want to do is very gently because this is really chunky glitter mm. so we're just going to pop that across like so once you sort of get the of aware how much you want to put on you can then start scraping that down a bit more so you can see that's going through there absolutely beautiful even though it's chunky and that just that one piece that I took from there how far that's going it's absolutely incredible. Yeah. So you're just going to keep going and keep scraping. That's going to all go through. Now, a few little tips. You want to keep this pot covered at all times. So the little seal inside, I just put my craft knife around the edge. Mm -hmm. Make sure that goes back on top when you put your lid back and that will stop it drying out as well. Um, you also want to, um, when you're applying this, can you see my uh, knife is sort of almost flat. You don't want to scrape like this right. because if you scrape 
like that, you're going to take more up and it'll actually force it to go underneath the stencil. Okay. Because what I haven't done, I haven't uh, I haven't sealed down my stencil. And what I mean by that, you could spray it with our stick and stay, a stick and spray, which is our purple and it's um, non um, uh, non-permanent so uh, it will actually put a glue on the back but I know that for our US viewers we don't sell it in the US so um, I don't do it just for people that don't have that so what you want to do is you want to keep that flat and that will help just take all that lovely glitter down the top there and then we'll take one more bit and that should then do the rest you don't need a lot then do you at all because like, that is a big size stencil you're working with there you'd think so, the Half reason, the gone, you? yeah, absolutely. And the reason I like to show this uh, demo with all one colour because obviously you can mix them, um, but I like to show how much you're actually getting in that tub because it really is lots. And then if you've got any more, you literally just scrape in that small bit there, just making sure we've caught all of those sections. And don't worry if you still feel like you want to scrape more. Don't go overboard scraping more up. Leave it where it is. Once you've done that, you want to use your knife to go round just make sure that that's all in the center take your knife and take all that away so that all stays in there nicely and then pop that back on and then you can pop your lid on and then that will keep it really nice till the next time now what you do want to do straight away Ben so let me just pop that lid on you want to get yourself a wipe or a wet piece of uh, cloth mm -hmm. and you do want to uh, clean that straight away. Yes. So to take that off. Because that stuff drives rock hard, doesn't it? It does drive rock hard, yes. It's, and it really does. So um, you don't need to bake it. You don't need to put it onto anything. It really does dry really hard. And all those samples I've shown you, I'm not sure when we're launched. Maybe we can see when these launched. But that's quite a few months ago. And none of these start samples are shedding. Nothing sheds. It stays. Mm is really true on these samples uh, which is amazing launched on the 3rd of Jan where is this year gone honestly I, I can't old. believe we're halfway into no, April May. already I know it's crazy although I'm wishing the year away because of my holiday when's your holiday again um, 20th of uh, May oh. eight May May yeah we're in April well, not, you've got, you've got London, have you I haven't got a lot uh, well in fact six weeks, days. five weeks yesterday yeah not that I'm counting of course um, wow. But look at that, Ben. Look at that. That full coverage that we've got on there that looks absolutely mm. amazing. Look at that. Now, that's when that looks like jewels, doesn't it? Like lots of little crystal jewels that have been put inside those leaves. Absolutely. That makes just an incredible, incredible background. Yeah, beautiful. And that's how easy they are to use. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, you're going to get the seven sets within your collection. I'll show you this again um, in just a second. A few comments coming through, though. Carlette has joined us from Arkansas. Uh, Carol's in from uh, a wet and windy Cornwall. Uh, lovely up here today. Normally sunny in Cornwall, isn't it? Cornwall and Devon, normally sunshine, normally wet and windy up here. We've stolen the nice weather and sent you the wind and the rain. Apologies for that. Um, Dawn's in saying good morning from a sunny New Hampshire. Um, hi to Ben and Debbie. Hello. Hello. And Lynn Morton says afternoon Debbie, Ben, CTV community and all the CTV team from a sunny Newcastle. Uh, we've got Jamie and also Nicola in the gallery today steering the good ship craft. You've got an hola and you've got a yay. Um, and I've got what? Oh yay me. No, I thought you said yay beans. Oh yay for you. Yay for Nicola. Yay everybody. from me. Um, <laughs> Lois is in Ohio. Hello. And Pat says, good morning, Ben, Debbie, TTV and social media superstar, as well as my crafting friends from a clear and beautiful New Jersey. Donna Valley says, I'm the same as Debbie with wearing gloves. Now, I couldn't care less. Yes, that's me as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Although I'm still a clean freak. You can see, look, my stencil's yeah. already clean. My workspace is already clean. I'm all done and ready for the next one now. <laughs> uh, Carolyn says, good morning, everyone from Florida. Great tips on the techniques. Thank you for all the care that you give in teaching. Uh, Kimberly joined us from Weepy Watchy in Florida. And also, hello to Sensational Sky. He says, Debbie, looks stunning as always she does um the glitters if you want them are stunning and as you can see look at that whoa these are all the kind of effects that you are going to be able to create you've seen a little goes a very long way 50 mil tubs right and you might be forgiven to think oh well they're not gonna last very long as you've seen you don't have to lay a lot down to achieve this kind of result 
It's chunky, it's beautiful, beautiful sheen that you're going to get with this, and as Debbie's alluded to as well, it, it's not that kind of glitter paste. If you've used glitter paste before, where you find once you put it on, it's dry, it's just flaking off all over the place, this doesn't. It really, really doesn't. Once it's uh, dried, it dries hard, and it stays in place. Um, it's in your face, and it stays in place. Uh, £42.40 for the seven that you're going to get here. I like that one. $52 if you are uh, shopping in the US and you're a platinum member. And those are the seven colours you're getting. Wood Nymph. What did Craig call that one that time? Wood Nymph or something he called it. Um, peacock, which is beautiful. There's greens and blues in there. Uh, I think colours like this, like the Enchanted Lake, the Mermaid's Tail, Mystical Ocean. You're going to use those in conjunction with your um, Enchanted Ocean, potentially. I think you may. Uh, the Rose Garden and also the Moon Bloom. Listen, if you haven't yet got them, it's a great day to pick them up with a saving. If you've already got them, chances are you're going to go, hang on a minute, I'm making a nice saving there, 15%. I'll have me some of that, thanks very much, because yours will run out eventually. Stretch and up. Next. <laughs> so you sit around there doing nothing. You have to show them the free gift again in a minute. So lazy, so lazy. <laughs> We'll sh no, we'll, we'll come to you again in a minute. Uh, Vernon's Cousins, by the way, are um, back on sale on the website, so do have a look. If you're after a desk vacuum, there you go, look. He's showing you the free gift as well. It's the little sampler pack for the Spectrum Noir pens. You get an aqua pen in the aquamarine, our illustrator in the true black, and a classic in the fuchsia. Um, so spend 10, and that will automatically be added into your basket. Um, and if you want to pick up another desk vacuum, as I say, um, search desk vacuum in the, uh, on the website. So. Uh, next up, the pigment ink pad Star Buy collection. You're getting 12 here, but to most be maths on this, I worked out actually that you are only. I've lost me Mosby maths. Oh, that's the wrong note. No, no, it's fine. You're getting five for free. Five for free within the bundle. Um, £32 or $48. But what are the colours, you're asking, that I, do I get within the bundle? What are those 12 colours? Well, what are they, Ben? <laughs> Debbie's waiting on me. I'll tell you the <laughs> colours. I'll tell you. You're going to get Oasis. Also, Damson Wine. Next up, these are all your pigments, by the way. Seal Brown. Next up, Sandstorm. Next up, Let's all go down for a wander in the spring meadow. This is a good colour. Next up, midnight. You're also going to get your green topaz. Yeah. Next up, not like this today here in the northeast, but normally is a misty morning. Next up, <laughs> anthracite. Next up. Straw bale. Next up, Bordeaux. You know. And last, but by no means least, pink tulip. Um, all of those you get, as I say, it's like you're getting five for free within the bundle. If you want an ink pad that's going to be brilliant to blend, this is the one to go for. If you want an ink pad that is going to be um, allowing you to do your heat embossing, these are the ones that you want to go for. If you want 12 ink pads at a sensational price today, these are the ones that you'll want to go for. Today's Star Buy, uh, you should be paying $71.88, $107, £32 or 48 bucks is all you'll pay today if you are a platinum member. Right, we're going to have a look at these with with um, Debbie, must say hi to Kendall, who's joined us from Minnesota, um, who also says, thank you, Debbie, for doing the stencil takedown so the glitter paste does not get under the stencil with the glitter paste. Um, and Jen says, good morning. Jen Shank, hello. And hi to Mary Harris, who says, I make a lot of cards for visually impaired people, and the glitter paste is fantastic because they can feel the card, and I have every confidence that it's stuck like concrete. That, Mary, is such a brilliant message, and what a great point for people who perhaps can't see the yeah. card, the, the texture and the touch and the feel for visually love impaired that. people. Love Yeah, brilliant. textures, cards are lovely, mm. and uh, yeah, amazing. I love that idea. Yeah, beautiful. Right. They can go on material as well. Oh, um, yes. A lot of people have put them on your but materials. Don't so wash probably, them. 
Uh, don't wash them. No, it will. Uh, it would just. You'd be able to sort of pick it off. All the corners would come off. It wouldn't actually wash away, Ben. Mm. Um, it would just mean that you, it would start peeling off at the sides. But you could definitely, if you wanted to do something like a um, a little clutch bag or um, a little makeup bag, something like that, and you put it onto it, it'd work really well. Mm. There we go. Uh, keep the comments coming. Uh, no questions that I've seen as yet, which doesn't mean you can't ask one. If you've got a question, ask it, for goodness sake. You've got 35 minutes left to um, get a question in. And if you're one of those people going, oh, no, I'm a bit scared about asking a question, don't be scared. Ask it. We're happy to answer whatever the question might be. Right. Uh, pigment ink pads, please. Yeah, um, everyone knows that I love the pigment yeah. ink pads. They are absolutely my favourite. So let's take a few of those colours because there is some really cool colours in here. Um, uh, I, I think the colours that we've got are really mm. cool colours because mm. they are colours that you're going to use in everything, whether it will be your sort of sky where you've got your midnights and your parakeets here. Um, you've got your meadow here for your sort of greenery. You've got sort of pinks of your dams and wine for your flowers. Um, you've got green greens here for your green topaz so it's so many beautiful colors you've even got that deep red that bordeaux which is just an amazing color so let's use some of these and just bring in some of those uh, trio stencils that we've got as well oh, so yeah. i'm going to use this contemporary trio um, it's a these are beautiful designs and they have just all these different um, effects that you can have on them so let's just pop that one there and then we've got two here that you can see so i'm going to use two of them together so what we're going to do to start off with let's make some something really nice and um, sort of in the more in the sort of background so I'm going to use the uh, pink so let's use the pink in the background um, again you can tape it down but you don't need to but we're going to tape this down um, on the let's do this the same way you've got this piece at the, at the top as well your little hole so if you wanted to put them in like one of the little key trains oh, okay. um, you can keep all your stencils in one place and then just flick through them with whatever whenever you need them um, I'm also going to be using one of our brushes so but you can use anything that you need to go with them um, the the capabilities their blending capabilities are amazing they are still out of stock I believe yeah. um, so apologies about that so one of those things check. which I think people check most days to see if they've come back or Nicola does producer Nicola does you'll know when they're back in stock yeah you she will, will we will tell you when they're back in like um, is it Victor who Vernon. Vernon? <laughs> oh, well, Didn't you hear what she just called you? <laughs> He's not happy. Go on, turn away. Turn away, Vernon. Go on, turn around. Go on, turn around. I don't blame you. I'd be turning around to do as you told. Oh, He's not doing it today. Oh, was that what he was doing yesterday? Uh, he's moving now, look. He's going. Go on. Oh, he's giving you an evil. That's why he's not move. Oh, I'm getting Look a side face. eye. I'm Look getting a side eye. eye. Oh, oh, oh. How dare you call me Victor? Oh, dear. Well, I got the right initial. You did, yeah. That's the main thing. <laughs> now, I'm not worried about it going over the edge because um, we can just trim this afterwards. But all we're doing, being really careful because there's quite a big open space on this one. So it literally is a case of popping that. Uh, in and I'm just uh, almost sort of dabbing it through rather than rubbing so we're just making sure that's all perfectly covered and I'm making sure also that I'm putting oh just move that then putting plenty down as well so make sure we've got loads of that beautiful link going through so once we've done that we're going to take that one away so let's just take that one doesn't want to come up there we go take that one look at that yes it's beautiful absolutely Stunning. beautiful but what we're also going to do i'm going to come in and put this one over the top so we're literally going to go down just where that design was just there putting it in exactly the same place as the other one was uh, and then this time let's use a different colour. So now because these are um, pigmented, it means that they are opaque as well mm -hmm. and they will give you that beautiful lay down a colour. So all I'm doing is I'm just wiping away my pink on there just so I don't uh, interfere with my next ink pad. And actually I was going to go with the blue, but let's go with this beautiful purple because I think the purple will layer over the pink amazingly. So literally taking that through, now, can you see what's happening? Because they are opaque, it layers on top, so you now can't see that colour. Okay. So, literally, all it's going to give me is that um, I'm almost taking that away because I just want to have a different variation going on the top. So, what I love about these trios. 
they just look incredible. So just keep going all over the top. In fact, I'm going to be really naughty now. We're not naughty, but we're just going to go a bit off piece. I'm going to use that parakeet on the last bit. Oh, right. Let's have a little bit of a difference. Might look revolting, you know, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, at least we're trying these well, things we're going to try. So I just know. thought because they're opaque, we can layer them up. Sure we get that blue that comes through as well and that parakeet. I love the parakeet colour. So, Seems to be a favourite so, of all of you guys, actually. Yeah, like so nice. Fuchsia, yeah, lemon, lemon tonic. tonic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to blend that in as well. And then we'll take that one off. So let's take that off. Now you can see I've put plenty of ink there. So we're just going to take that off. Look how nice that looks. How amazing is mm. that? Mm. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use our um, uh, embossing powder over the top. Because what because the, the, the ink stays wetter for longer, yeah. it means that we can then do that heat embossing technique. So let's pop that back in the jar. Okay. Hardly uses anything at all but it's going to give us now this amazing shine all over. So let's pop that there and bring in our heat tool. Um, a few of those whilst we're heating. Linda says, good morning from Wisconsin. Uh, hello, Bridget Davies, who says hi from North Wales. Um, hello. And also, Chantal says, I'm still working out if Burn and Vacuum is making this face or this <laughs> face. <laughs> it depends on which bit you think is his mouth. I think he's making this face. I think he's got a really small mouth. Yeah, there. That's his mouth there. No eyes, nose, mouth, I would say. That there's his... Well, I don't know. That's his body, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Sensational Sky says, Vern Vacuum, love it. And um, you can get your very own, as I said, available now on the website. Uh, you have to get the googly eyes separately though. I don't think we sell googly eyes, do we? I don't think. Where did we get the name Vernon from? Oh, I don't know who came up with that. Some chance, sir. It was me. I don't know, it was just the first thing, because he's a vacuum. So I thought he was going to be a V. Vernon. I know there's, um, someone's got a Vicky, a Vicky. Who was it who yesterday messaged and said they called theirs Sir Sucks a lot? Sir Sucks a lot, I yeah. love that, that's brilliant. Um, I always know my, Michael's is called Hercule, of course, because he got them all dressed up. Um, but yeah, everyone names theirs. Um, oh, Dawn, hers is called Vera. It was Lisa P yesterday. My desk vacuum is called Sir Sucks a Lot. Um, <laughs> That's brilliant. I love the fact people have multi ordered those as well, though, and people have them for the dinner table and stuff like that to get all the crumbs. Because we've all got that one messy eater in our family, haven't we? It gets crumbs everywhere. No? I don't think I have, actually, oh. no. Do you know the messy eater in our family? You? No. Laura? No. George? No. Oh, and Daisy? Daisy, yeah. <laughs> I was then going to say, I bet it's Molly. Yeah, well, Molly's, yeah, pretty big. But Daisy, like, if, if is anyone going to spill, like, a a globule of ketchup on their top or... I used to be like that oh. when I was a kid and then funny enough when I was younger and there's a picture of me somewhere in my dad's stash yeah. um, of me they bought me one of those plastic bibs oh, yeah. with a little tray underneath because I was always dropping things down myself and like at breakfast time we always say Daisy like she's got like a bit of toast or whatever so just eat over your plate and she'll sit at like the breakfast yeah it's a breakfast bar not really <laughs> but you know that she's been there because it's like just crumbs all over the floor it's like she's like, like some sort of hamster into the house but <laughs> Yep, she's a messy one. Bless her. Right, I'm going to trim this down so you can get the full effect of this and yeah. how beautiful it looks. But look how quick to do a panel with those amazing inks. Uh, bring in the stencils as well. So if you haven't got any stencils, I definitely recommend some of that we've got on the show today. Um, but what I loved about this is the way that we can use three different ink pads. We can blend those colours effortlessly into each other and we can also then make that just extremely transparent there because because, not trans opaque, sorry. And you can sit there, we go, look at that. That is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Looks amazing, and all those different colours. Then, so uh, yeah, make sure you leave them. And all you need there, put a sentiment on top, maybe a little, just a, a, some flowers, a butterfly, anything like that, and you've got yourself an amazing background. Uh, but the pigment ink pads truly are amazing. And what's nice about the pigment ink pads is the amount of pigment that's in them, and they're going to last you a long time because they're very juicy. Absolutely brilliant. Um, 
If you want to get yours, let me take you through all of the colours that you're going to be receiving once again. Uh, oh, Chantel says, do you put a stash on Vernon for Movember, Ben? Uh, we will. Oh, yes. We will. We'll get him a little stick on one. Uh, news just in. We'll get him a little mini stick on one like I had uh, Friday before last. He looked good with a little tash, but it'd have to be quite small if that's his mouth, wouldn't it? It'd have to be. We'll make him one. We'll make him one. Little penciled tash. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, yeah, like an Hercule Poirot sort of tash, I'm thinking. Anyway, um, you're getting about five, did I say five free? Yeah, five free within this uh, particular set today. So £32, 48 bucks for your opaque pigment ink pads. The colours are pink tulip. You're also going to get your Bordeaux, straw bale. Two uh, greys in here, so anthracite and misty morning. Then you're going to get that green topaz. It's great that we've seen like a few of these in action with Debbie as well. Um, your Midnight, your Spring Meadow, Sandstorm, Seal Brown, Damson Wine, and Oasis. All of those you're going to get in that bundle uh, for just £32 or $48. Uh, great thing about this as well, of course, is the fact that you have got the ability to stock up or indeed try for the first time at a sensational price. Just before we have a quick break and give you opportunity to check out, Debbie wants to show us something. Uh, only because I was going to clean my stencil and then I thought I'd show you because if you spritz your stencil, so when you've got all that ink on your stencil, give it a spritz of water over the top and then I've just put that in once and then let's do another one one so you'll get a second generation on that way you'll get a different background these inky backgrounds every single time so less water you get this one more water you get this one go in again spritz again and that's how you clean them and you'll get then these amazing backgrounds um, to go so coming from that how incredible is that amazing Absolutely fan blooming fantastic. Uh, listen, if you've got stuff in your baskets, uh, you need to get them checked out. So let's give you opportunity to do that. Remember, for every 10 spend, you have got the um, free pens, which get popped into your basket automatically. Uh, but listen, get to the checkout. So we will come back in about three or four minutes time with more info. And if you've got any questions, fire them in now, any requests, and we'll get all those done for you in the last 20 minutes of our Colour Me Happy Show. Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower. So I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavored coffee is my favorite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week, um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show. 
do the show, then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go, then we do that show, tidy, I always like to make sure that the area's nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in, jump in head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on the sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown here that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, oh anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, Chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Uh, Dawn of Valley's been in touch to say, I decorated Vera and I will send photos later. She is now sparkly. Yes. Um, if you do the Poirot stash, says Chantel, you will need a monocle too. Um, and Christine says, good morning from a lovely Altoona PA, home of the world famous Horseshoe Curve Railroad. Um, and Christine says, Ben, you have got to get that clock available to us. I need it in my craft room. It's not a real clock, unfortunately. The clock on the videos, it's just like a, it's like a, um, just in a video. It's, it's what? It's an animation. Thank you. That is the word I was looking for, an animation. Um, the desk vacuum is available, by the way. A lot of you have been chatting about him. There he is, old uh, Hercule. Uh, 15, uh, Hercule. Vernon, wow, sorry, sorry. Um, Vernon, you can call yours whatever you want and uh, you can stick whatever you want on it as well. 15 99 or 19 99 they're brilliant, look, because they just vacuum up all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, do you want me to sing the song? <laughs> <laughs> but he'll like obviously that was sequins, but he'll vacuum up, you know, all sorts of bits and pieces. G glitter, you know, bits of uh, die cut car which has fallen out, crumbs, you name it. He will do it. Um, are we starting to do the Debbie Holiday Countdown yet, says Christine Mahoney. Oh, I should do now. Now I know that it literally is only four weeks and six days. Is that right? Oh, uh, it five. is, yeah. So five weeks it was yesterday. Yeah, four so weeks, six days. Four weeks, what are you saying? Four weeks and six days. <laughs> it's going to be exciting, yes. Yeah, it's going to be one of those. Did I not tell you? I'm going on holiday. <laughs> I'm going on holiday. I'm going on holiday as well, but not that soon. Mine is, I think mine is 11 weeks on Saturday. Oh, you've got ages. Got yeah. ages. We'll count yours down when I come back. Okay. Because that would be in June, in fact. We I come back in June. Oh, yeah, and by that point, mine mm. will be on the horizon because mine's the start of July. Yes. So, mm. we're good to go. We're good to go. Uh, right, no more questions have yet come through, so uh, we will rattle on and we're going to have a look at the masks, which are incredible. Um, oh, when did we launch these? About three weeks ago? Something like that? Love these so much. Sheena had a, um, a launch show with them, and a lot of people, I think, were like, mm, masks, what can I do with them? Well... Sheena showed you what you can do with them. So many different things, you know, from obviously using them as masks, but then she was um, embossing with them. She was stenciling with them. Um, just incredible, um, some of the things that she did. 21st of March, you need to go back and watch that launch show. Uh, but you're going to get within this set uh, the 11 masks, which you got uh, originally at the same price, £32 or $48 if you're platinum. You've got beautiful flowers in there. So there's the echinacea. This one is that stunning uh, dandelion heads. Uh, you've also got in there the beautiful hearts.
This is gorgeous. If you love your swaddles, uh, it's just called swaddles. Uh, you've got the uh, roses in there too. Uh, also in here, you have got the uh, stunning peony uh, and also this one, which is the uh, beautiful decorative lotus. Uh, Sheena used that a couple of times actually in the launch, in various launches. Um, and then the cherry blossom is included as well. All of those in that bundle, if you've not yet picked them up, have a little look. You can go for them individually as well. Um, we are going to have a little bit of a look at these with um, Debbie. Um, question as we go over, which says, uh, where are you going on your holiday, Debbie, from Christine Mahoney? Oh, I'm off to Mauritius. Oh, how lovely. I know. We keep looking at all the pictures and uh, videos online now and, uh, oh, just like this sandy beach and clear waters and, uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's just going to be amazing. Uh, right. Uh, uh, shimmer ink pad, uh, shimmer sprays we're going to use with these as okay. well because they work so well. So a lot of these samples are done with the shimmer sprays. Um, look how amazing these look. I think these are beautiful to use just in the background and that really frames that beautiful sentiment inside. Uh, doing all your different concept cards. Look at that feather. That's amazing. I absolutely love that one. Um, this is a very clever design. I think this is brilliant, Ben. I think someone, in fact, uh, Rachel wow. Gill. Uh, Rachel, love that. Yeah, it is incre incredible. So basically, she's done it in the background and done a very muted background over it and then done the same one, but using her nesting dies, cut out parts of that. I think that is an amazing design. Uh, love this one as well, using your swash stamps and then spritzing over the top of those incredible butterflies. You can also use uh, ink pads over the top. So um, these would either be your duets or your um, uh, pigment ink pads yep. that we've just seen. Uh, another one of those butterflies flies there uh, from our Jan Marshall. In fact, Jan's on socials today. So she that's is Jan's on socials today, yeah. Um, we've got this one here, which is another one from Rachel. I love that one as well. So using uh, sentiments to cut through to give that eclipse look. Um, beautiful one here that uh, uses tags on them. And I love this one. Just a slight uh, variation in the background then. This is uh, our very own Lily that's done this one. Mm. Uh, we've got this one, which I think is beautiful. So basically, it's your coloured background and then you use your black ink pad over the top to okay. get that, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, something that's nice and bright. Uh, what about using your um, uh, glitters um, oh, yes. over the top of them as well, which look amazing. I could keep going. There's so many samples here, but I do want to get to this one because this is on craft card. Look how incredibly amazing that is. Some so some great um, samples on craft uh, card Yeah, today. just amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's a great medium to get hold of as well. And again, um, mixed media is about your different media. Medium. So uh, craft card is a really good medium. Um, I've also used some of just my craft card just to put at the front here um, <laughs> so I don't spritz everywhere. So I'm going to do two different things. First of all, uh, let's just bring one of those in. So one of the stencils that we've got is that uh, mandala. I haven't, I've just had them and now I don't know where I put them so I don't know the name of it. Um, but I'm sure it is just a mandala. I'm That's the lotus. In. Oh, it's a lotus. It's called... Lotus. Uh, is it called the... Oh, hang on. Hang Something on. Lotus. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Decorative Lotus. Decorative Lotus. Right, so I'm just going to give these a shake. Shake them to wake them. They've got the most amazing um, mica in them, uh, which is going to uh, be mixed up in there and sprayed. I always keep mine laid down. If you keep them laid down, it means there's no real big chunks to get sort of sucked up into the tube when you're spraying. So it just uh, has the longevity of them. We do, I'm not sure if it's still in a stop. Maybe Nicola can check. Um, we do a uh, care pack. Yes. And the care pack is brilliant because you'll get extra was. nozzles in as well, which mm. uh, I would definitely recommend uh, getting some extra care packs that way if anything does get clogged up you can uh, literally replace them so all I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz directly onto here now depending on where you hold this so this is about sort of 12 inches depending on how far back or how nearer if you go nearer you get a really big lay down if you go more on top can you see it's just uh, more um, oh that one is um, oh oh no stopped already need to uh, get that wash that in water and then that will be fine again I've literally sprayed that everywhere <laughs> it's not like you to make a mess uh, no it's not like me to make a mess <laughs> but that's the thing as our Nicola just said at least you know I'll clean it up 
Right, so I'm going to leave that one and then we're going to just dry that. And I'm going to dry it while it's still on there as well. Because what you want to do, I don't want too much seeping underneath. We want to get that amazing design still um, coming through. Now, I've not stuck that down. If you did have some uh, position, repositioning glue spray. Um, oh, we've had a malfunction. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. I'm going to switch it for another one. I've got a feeling it, it might actually be the plug socket. Is it overloaded? It's overloaded, so I'm going to unplug a few bits. Yeah, there we go. Let's try again. Oh. Is it that? Is it plugged in okay over there, Ben? Uh, which one are you? Hang on. That, this one. That one? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Try now. Oh. Hang, Check hang on a the minute. Wall. Check the Check wall. The wall. Um, have we paid our bill? <laughs> <laughs> Go. And then if I click this again. No. I don't no. think the oh, electricity. plug feels hot. No, though. the electricity is gone. The uh, Gemini is not working either. The plug over here feels hot. Maybe we. Okay, we're going to pop that one away and we're just going to carry on as if we've dried it. We haven't dried it. <laughs> it's all past the camera then. <laughs> uh, I don't think someone's paid the bill. Um, do you want to right. should I get my extension lead over? I've got it's one fine. here. It's fine, it's fine, Ben. I was just going to, we'll pop that to the side because then I'm going to bring another one in. So this one is our exquisite roses. So the other thing that you can do with these as well, let me just grab um, one of our smoothers. Um, you can actually sort of dab onto it as well. You don't have to just spritz them. So if you wanted to just take some out of the bottle and pour a little bit on or spritz some onto here, you can actually be more um, precise where you put it. So then we can sort of tap over the top and get a completely different look. Now, by doing it this way, you'll also get that precision of where you want it. So I just want that beautiful, those beautiful roses. You can mm. always position that back. So I could have stuck that down a bit better. So it's come in a little bit more, just a little bit more of that one. And just bring this in. So I'm using the Firelight, Firelight Sparkle. Sparkle. So let's do a little bit more in the middle. Just beautiful. And then we're going to come around here to do that other roses. Just bring in them. And then what I'm going to do is just then bring in a green one so we've, have we got a green oh i haven't got a green one have i got a green one um, uh i got a green one. One. Oh, i've got one here summer meadow i got it i've got it i've got the summer meadow yeah so i'm just gonna bring some of that let's just pour a little bit onto there oh steady there hand go. just a little bit on there and then let's just turn that round nice to see them used in a different way oh has this not been done no i haven't seen it done like this oh ah. Yeah, you get more precision like this. And mm. I'm not worrying about it now going round because I want it to look like it's sort of the garden around us. So we're just coming into the green. Need a little bit more. So let's just pour that one out. If you've got, actually, I tell you what we've probably got over here, Ben. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, a little pipette. We've got little pipettes, yes. Okay. So literally, we can then... There we there go, we look go. at that. That's it's good though, good. isn't it? There are so many different ways to use these. Lay it down like you're doing, spray out of the bottle. You can paint with them. Paint with them. Yep. Put them into like, um, they Decant saying, like them. Put, put them into your other misters as well, can't you? If you want different yep, like, absolutely. levels of dispersion. Yep. Dispersion. Dispersal. Disposal. Dispersion. Disperse dispersing. Dispersion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, must say hi to uh, Carol who's joined us saying, good morning from Florida. I have had an amazing day on HSN yesterday. It was a pleasure meeting Sarah and I got her to sign my book and my platinum apron. Um, and she is even more beautiful in person, says Karen Fisher. Yeah, there were loads of, um, loads of you got to meet Sarah yesterday. If you've got That's pics, so nice. send them in. We did see a few videos on Facebook. Absolutely. Um, I haven't seen them yet, so I need ah, to go and have a look. Have, have a little look in the break. Right, so two different ways there that we've brought those in. So we've got these ones. So if nice. I take this one off now, so you can see, so you get a more, um, this one is sort of very sporadic there, isn't mm. it? It's sort of all over, but how beautiful does that look? Um, give that a dry. Now, if I dried that when I was drying it, before our electric bill wasn't paid, um, <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have sunk underneath so much, but actually quite like that. It looks incredible 
So let me, as that dries, the more it dries, the more shine you will get off there, which is just stunning. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So the more that dries, the golds will come out in that. And then this one here, and you'll be able to see, we've got a completely different look in this one. Um, could have done that one a little bit better. In fact, I'm wondering if there's some bits in the stencil that haven't popped out. But if I turn that round, and I've done this very quickly, look at the gold in that coming out absolutely stunning but you would dry those off you'd make it look a lot neater than that but it's a really nice way of getting some precision in there and having those leaves green and then a different color on your roses so make sure you get some of those little smoothers because they're brilliant for that technique absolutely fab um, and again how great to be able to get those set of masks and then to get the um, the shimmer sprays as well we do have the bundle of shimmer sprays available for you as you can see see uh, 10 in total you've got uh, within that set. Um, do you want me to come around because I know you, you, no, you, know, you didn't get them all. Why did I have in my mind that we had, oh no, that was the glitter paste, isn't it? Come on, Ben. Get with the program. What am I like? Um, these are all of the sprays that you're going to get. That is a cracking price as well, by the way, isn't it? £32 or $44. Um, these, again, all available individually if you want to do that. But you know what? If you've already bought them, you're coming back to get more at that price. And if you haven't yet, hopefully, you're getting a kind of a sense for yourself. So just give this a little bit of a wiggle. The uh, kind of look that you're going to be able to achieve, the shimmer that you're going to be able to achieve as well. And um, this board is a really good example, I think, of showing you how it's going to look for you on your different... Uh, colors of cardstock as well because along the top row for each one it's showing you what it's going to look like for you on your white cardstock and then the bottom row of each one it's going to show you how this is going to look for you on your darker cardstock too so um, all the colors you're going to get here is your ice silver on white and on black this one there is your gold dust again on your white and black there you have got your sunset bronze look at that uh, do you know what? It looks great on the white, but on the darker cardstock, it's just absolutely next level, this, isn't it? Uh, deep seashell pink is the next one along, as you can see. And then the one that uh, Debbie was just using, the Firelight Sparkle. As we go down to the bottom row, uh, we can go, well, we can start here, actually, we can go the other way. Golden Heather is that beautiful one uh, just here. The Royal Velvet, or as Leanne would say, Royal Velvet. Uh, you've also got your Celestial Map, which is that beautiful blue. Summer Meadow, again, that was the one that Debbie was just using in the last demo. And then you've got that beautiful Golden Sunflower as well. Um, so that is it, £32, 44 bucks. Uh, don't forget everything that you are shopping for. If you spend over 10, you will get your free gift, of course, as well. Um, and there's loads more on the website for you too. The three for twos as far as Spectrum Noir is concerned. We've only shown you a small amount of the deals that are available um, across the board. And there's also loads of deals on stamps for you too. So if you're an avid stamper, do check out the deals that we've got there up to 20, 20, up to 70% off when it comes to your stamps. Scratch that up to 75% off when it comes to your stamps. So do have a look. Uh, thank you so much for the comments, Sarah. Just saying, Debbie, loved all of the demos today. You are very talented and inspiring and more talent and inspiration coming your way uh, tonight, live from five, where Debbie is back with me on launch party. Um, we have got on that show the defense. decorative nesting yes, dies and have. the new corner edgeables, which, which I know you love. Oh, I saw them yesterday for a sneaky peek, and they're yep. just phenomenal. They're aren't beautiful. They? Yeah, mm. I can't wait to show you what I've got with them. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to those. We've also got uh, new Totally Tiffany, the easy to organise slide and stash store expansion range. Mm. And uh, luxury mirror card, illusion film, shimmer ink pads. I mean, you name it, we've got it. We've even got Vernon as well. What more do you want? Um, in the meantime, make sure you get all your carts and your baskets checked out. Continue to shop the sales on the website. And Debbie and I and the team will see you back here for more fun on Launch Party live at five. Until then, bye for now.